So what we're going to do here today is we're going to patch existing mods so that they work with Boris's grass collision. Uh, and the issue is that some mods add small pebbles and sticks that are set up as grass in the game. Their vertex alpha colors, according to Boris, are set incorrectly and therefore are being affected by the collision in-game. So that's what we're going to fix. So this is the actual issue. You can see how they get pushed into the ground. And as my character walks away, they slowly pop back up. So this is not how we want pebbles and sticks to react in the game. We would rather that they stay still and the only things that really get affected would be actual things that are grass instead of things that are just set up as grass in the game. So that's what we're going to fix today. I'll show you how. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a work in progress folder that we can put the files that we want to change into. So we're going to right click, new folder, name it data. And then you're going to open that folder, right click, new folder, meshes. Open that one, right click, New Folder Landscape. Open that one, right click, New Folder Grass. Basically, that's the file structure Data Meshes Landscape Grass, where all of your grasses are going to be located. Okay, so now we're going to go to our data folder within our game steam steam apps common skyrim special edition at least that's where they are for me if you're using mo2 uh, they'll be in a virtual folder but if you play around in there you you know where to find them so again we're going to go into data meshes landscape grass Okay, and I've already figured out which ones of these files are the ones that are a problem. And some of them are pretty obvious. They're named uh, Riverbed Pebbles, Rock Grass. Okay, so we're going to grab these. Rocks Generic, Rocks Generic, Rock Snowy, Rock Pebbles, Small Pebbles, Snow. Okay, so we're going to grab all of those and we're going to right click, copy. And then you're going to right click on your work in progress folder and paste them in there. Okay, some other ones that are going to be an issue are ones that are marked twig pile. At least for me with my, my load order, these are ones that I found that are twigs. So the ones that are twig pile, I'm going to also uh, copy and paste into here. Okay, so now I have the files I need out of my data folder in my work in progress folder. If we open these up, let's just open rock grass. You can see that it's a uh, BS tri shape and we can't get to the vertex colors, although they're marked here, vertex and, and vertex colors and stuff like that, are actually in the shader property. These are required vertex colors and vertex alpha under the shader flags. Those are required. But we don't have a color wheel here to modify the vertex color, and that's what we need. We can get one of those by converting these to Legendary Edition format. So this is our data folder. And I'm going to pull up 
a program called NIF Optimizer. I'm going to delete that. Okay, so this is NIF Optimizer, and it can you can get that from Nexus. I want to take that data folder, drag it, and drop it right in there. And then I want to run NIF Optimizer EXE. That's going to pull up this little window, and I want to optimize. It'll basically optimize everything that's within this folder. And you can change them from Special Edition to Legendary Edition, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change all these from Special Edition to Legendary Edition. And then just click Optimize. It's super fast. And then if we open this data folder under Meshes Landscape Grass, and let's open Rock Grass again and take a look at it, we'll notice that now it has an NI tri shape and an NI tri shape data. Under the NI tri shape data line, you will find something down here in block details called vertex colors. Now, according to Boris, anything with a vertex color over 0 0.01 is going to be affected by wind and collision in the EMB binaries. So we want to make sure that this last value right here is zero. And it'll show up here in these as the last two digits will be zero, zero. So this one is already set with an alpha of zero. So let's open one that isn't. So we're going to choose Rock Generic, and we're going to go into, again, NI tri shape Data. We're going to go into Vertex Colors, and you can see the last two digits here are 6, 9. So if we open that up, we can see it's 0. 0.412. That number needs to be 0, that alpha number, the last one. Now if you click on this top um, header color wheel, this will affect everything below it. And if you move this slider all the way to the bottom, that should be zero. Although it doesn't get all the way to zero. If you notice, the last number here is uh, zero, 01. And it shows my alpha as being 0 0.005. Now, according to Boris, that'll work. OK. Um, it needs to be below 0 0.01. Uh, but if you want to make sure, you can double click on this and change it to zero. And then you can control C, copy that, and then choose everything below it. And control V. And you'll notice it'll change from 01 to 00. zero. So now all of these have their alpha at zero. And then we're going to save this file. All right, if you come across something like this, one or more of the path strings contain an invalid path, uh, ask to show details. And we see that it's under textures. OK. So we go into texture set, and we notice that the normal for this is set to something that uh, probably doesn't exist. Since these aren't using normal maps here, and they would need complex grass to put the normals actually under the diffuse in the top slot, we can remove that so that this can be saved. OK. Once you've gone through and you've changed all these uh, so that their alphas are 0, make sure that your file structure is correct. Data, Meshes, Landscape, Grass, the way we set it up. And then you can right click on it, 7-zip, add it to archive, name it whatever you want. So we're going to name it whatever. OK, and so now we have um, a 7-zip file that we can add just like any other mod. I've already gone and done that. Um, and I did it for my twigs and a few other things too. And yes, I still use Nexus Mod Manager. Don't give me too hard of a time about it. Uh, it's just what I'm used to. It's what I've been using for the last 10 years. Um, it's what I know. It's what works for me. And I put that 
down at the bottom here under my work in progress files and I named it rock grass collision fix. And we can see that some things were added by Skyrim 2020. Uh, some things were added by rock grass for EMB complex grass uh, SE. Okay, so, and some things were added by Folkfanger. Oops. I hit the wrong button. So let's just reinstall this. And say yes to all. And then once it's installed, these are only meshes, so there's no ESP file or ESL file or anything like that you got to deal with. You don't have to deal with load order. Um, we're going to go back and start up Skyrim. And check and make sure that our fixes of the alpha actually worked. if Skyrim will start up. <laughs> it should. It takes a second. Again, this is for EMB series uh, 0.475, which is the latest version from Boris at the time of this video. Um, it should work on versions after that, although I'm not sure what other kinds of fixes or changes are, are in the works. Um, but as a 0.475, this is how you patch um, rock grass from mods so that they're not affected by collision within that EMB um, binary. So we're going to go back to the exact same spot. And now our twigs and pebbles should not be affected by grass collision. And I have to say thank you, Boris, for being so helpful in the comment section of your mod um, on the Nexus, because you gave me the information I needed in order to make this tutorial. This would not have happened without you. So let's go walk over some rocks and see that they are no longer affected by collision. Like they were before. Now they stay still. So let's go down and make sure that, uh, or show that collision is still on. So we're gonna walk past some things that are actually affected by collision. And you can see the collision is still working on things that it should and is no longer working on those little pebbles where it shouldn't. So thanks for watching and I hope this helps somebody.